Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using the fluid simulator in Blender. I'm A1 Serious. Let's open up Blender and start up a completely brand new file. We're using Blender 2.69 and the first thing we need to be able to create a fluid uh, simulation is a domain. So I'll use this cube as my domain object. Before that I'll just turn on the this, um, screencast keys here. Let's see, I hope that helps if I f forget to say things that I do and I'll scale this up and uh, go into um, wireframe mode. So we need a domain and we'll also need a fluid object and I'll add another mesh object, a UV sphere that I'll use as my fluid object. And you can have two types of fluid or fluid sources in a fluid simulation. That's either a fluid object or an inlet and I'll use a fluid object for this. And the way to get that started, you select the domain and click on the physics tab, click on the fluid button and choose domain. Then you select the fluid object and select that as a fluid object. Uh, you can also, to, to hide this away, you can actually move that to another layer that way you don't see it in the, you only see the, the fluid that it gener uh, produces, so to speak, uh, and not uh, the object itself. And it's in the domain that most of the properties of the fluid are determined. Uh, for instance, the material. So I'll, I'll start out by going into edit mode and turn on uh, shade smooth. Then we know that this, uh, the fluid will be shaded smooth. Uh, I changed the color here to a green color. So now when we see that green stuff come out, that's because we have baked the fluid. And back to the physics tab here. And you can choose resolution of your fluid simulation. Uh, f f greater resolution takes a lot more time. Um, you can choose in the fluid word you can choose the viscosity and I'll use oil for this and the fluid boundary I would like to use the free slip and I'll just keep the smoothing and subdivisions to what they are they will make a nicer looking and smoother fluid uh, it just takes more power to do it also we'll talk about in a pre in a later tutorial talk about remove air bubbles I'll leave it on for now I'll talk about that when we come to obstacles and there are not going to be any obstacles in this simulation only the fluid object and the domain. Also this is the, the total duration of the physical fluid simulation. It's 4 seconds starts at 0 and ends at 4. This is 250 frames so that means that if I use those parameters I get a slow motion effect because you have 4 seconds of place out over the course of 10 seconds. But I'll leave it like that and, and, and just change this down to 100 because we don't need a very uh, lengthy uh, simulation. And I would also like to use um, a, an, another directory basically here. No, yes, no. This is messed up. There you go. That's the one I want. And I really don't want the, the you know, I, I want a relative uh, address to this. So I'll just uh, get that out and uh, push the, put those double forward slashes in. So now we'll end up in a directory that is just underneath the directory that I've, that this file will be saved in. And I'll save this file as uh, tutorial and um, I just do leave it untitled because we're just not going to save much of this. Um, so what we can do now is just start baking. Let's press the button and um, you can see the fluid object then or the fluid that is generated through the simulation appears uh, pretty quickly because we have a low resolution and uh, that just allows the system to crank it out pretty fast and I've changed to solid mode 
so that we can see a little bit uh, more what it looks like. Uh, and as it's baking, I'll add a uh, a lamp, uh, a hemispherical lamp, and change its energy to 0 0.4, just to get a little bit more of an e even illumination when we actually render this. Um, and you can actually play the simulation as you as it's baking, uh, just like that. And if if you come beyond the point of where it has baked, it just turn into uh, the domain again, so you can't see what's what hasn't been generated yet. And as you can see, like when you have a lower resolution, it's a pretty quick process. But if you higher re resolution, it can actually take hours. So it's it's just something that you have to be aware of when you you you, you want to try your stuff out before you commit, so to speak. Uh, um, and this is what that looks like rendered, and we'll uh, play that out. And maybe I want to play it backwards a little bit. Uh, and uh, rotate the camera in X direction like this. And render that. So now we have this, you know, this is what it looks like. And that depends, you know, m much of it depends on the resolution and the uh, uh, materials that we're using. So just to to uh, repeat this, we need to create a fluid simulation. You must have a fluid object, or you have to have, first of all, you must have a domain. Uh, and then you have to have a fluid object or an inlet. You set the parameters, start and end times, things that uh, affects how fast it will appear. Uh, you set the resolution, its viscosity, s slip, if it's what kind of slip it has, and then you bake it, and then you keep working on it. And uh, sometimes it could get really frustrating because you're not getting the results you want. But these are the basic, um, you know, basics. The ba basic start of it. The, this you must have, otherwise, you won't be able to uh, get your fluids. So I'll just leave that here, and I'll demonstrate uh, uh, before we end this that you can actually animate parameters of the you know of the bake so here before i bake this one i went in and um, changed the, the speed of this the speed of the uh, simulation so I, that's a 1 and then i take it down to almost 0 and that means that this simulation will you know do its thing till you know, f frame 40, and then we'll slow it down, and then we'll be, we'll be more or less still. So we'll just um, look at that in the in the 3D viewport, and we can look at the final there, right? And uh, just press that and see how that sloshes, and then it stops. So we just back that up there. You can see that here it continue. It actually still sloshes around and there it freezes and doesn't move much after that. There's a little bit of movement, but it just kind of stills. So that's one way to keep a surface still uh, if, if that's what you need. So all these parameters can be, can be animated. Uh, however, uh, the fluid, uh, the, the, these parameters, the, the the exponent can only be, it cannot be, it's in discrete like uh, um, 5 or 6 or 7, so that, that if you change that, there will be uh, um, like a step. It's not a continuous change from 5 to 0 5.1 uh, and so forth. It's just from 5 to 6 at once. So, and I used in this, this particular case, I used the partial slip, and it really doesn't matter. It's just to demonstrate this this uh, animate mm, animatable feature, and also the fact that the material is set, you know, with the fluid the fluid domain. So remember that 
it's not the fluid object. The fluid object just tells you the volume. And I hope this uh, gets you started, and I'll get back to you on uh, obstacles in a little while. And uh, thank you for listening, and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.